Number 203 in the Masters of Cinema collection is The White Reindeer. Now this uh, movie is 68 minutes in length and it's beautifully shot. The black and white photography is just stunning uh, along with these locales that very rarely do we see in this era of movie. It's wonderfully um, inventive and a great tale that really kind of took me by surprise as I was watching it. It's all about two people, Preta and um, Aslak, who are at the start of the movie, they kind of come together, they form a bond, they get married uh, because of Aslak uh, being a shepherd, he has to go away for long periods of time and his wife grows, well, alone. You know, she feels alone, she wants that company, she wants the love of her husband when he comes back, but he seems just more comfortable sleeping rather than giving her the attention that she craves. So being uh, a woman of determination, she goes to see the local wizard, shaman, whatever, who casts a spell that no shepherd will be able to reject her. The wall want her. And... Well, it technically all works out, just not in the way that Preta uh, expected it to. She becomes a white reindeer. A white reindeer that all the shepherds want to catch. They're all chasing after her. They try to get her. And just as they're about to catch her, the white reindeer transforms back into Preta, who is now a vampire that drains their blood and carries on with this vicious cycle. It becomes a vampire movie out of nowhere. I was not expecting this turn of events. It takes a little while in getting to that point and when it gets there, it becomes really surprising and unusual. You know, I, I was all with this romance, this drama, uh, these people in a different environment and climate just working and surviving how they were getting along when all of a sudden it becomes a vampire movie. Instead of a bat, she becomes a white reindeer to entice the men away from safety, to get them into a, a kind of place where she can change back, laugh at them maniacally, as she does quite a lot, and then drain them of blood. And it's a movie that really ramps up the tension as it goes along. When we get to the final 10 minutes, it really becomes a case of uh, desperation and, and paranoia in Perita's uh, perception of how things are going on. She knows that her time is limited, that the townsfolk are starting to rally against this white reindeer. They know that they have been cursed and a demon is there in some way, shape or form. They just don't know that it's her. And of course it goes to the only ending that the movie could give us, which is really kind of interesting. And for a 68 minute movie, it feels a little bit long. It feels as though um, nothing much happens initially. And for some, that could be a problem. I kind of liked the photography. I, I liked the locales. I liked some of the way that the shots were framed. It was interesting. And because I didn't know a thing about the story, I was curious about where it was going to go. But it does take a while in getting there. You know, it's almost a half hour into the movie before we start to find the crux of the problem with Perita trying to get the attention of her husband and ultimately becoming this blood-sucking reindeer that's just, well, it's, it's a wonderful idea. It's a movie that I, I find very strange and unusual. You know, it, it, it's part drama, part horror. A surprising horror at that. But I think it's very interesting to check out because of the setting, because of the way the movie looks. Just to experience a film from Finland and to see how they tackle a, oh, a kind of genre picture as well as it becomes. I think this is something that's it's worth checking out. I don't know if it's something I would rush out to own. It's something I could definitely see me checking out again just out of sheer uh, curiosity and, and oddity and because of that wonderful photography and because of uh, the lead performance which I really liked and yeah it's another interesting watch thanks to Masters of Cinema. Let me know your thoughts on the movie in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.